In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make this model of a water molecule. I'm going to use this website, ChemSpider, at ChemSpider.com, as the source of data for small molecules. Using the simple search, type in water and press enter. Click the 3D button to see the molecule that I want to import into Blender. Click the Save button and that will save the water molecule in the .mol format. There isn't an add-on for importing .mol files into Blender. There is an add-on for importing PDB files. We need a utility that will convert .mol to .pdb. Open Babel is a free open source tool that will do the conversion for us. Click the download button. I'm using a Microsoft Windows system so I'm going to download the Windows installer. Save the installer program and run it. Then start Open Babel and you should see a screen like this. Change the input file format to .mol. Click the three dots and go to the folder where you downloaded your water molecule. I renamed the file adding water to it to make it easier to recognize. The .mol files from ChemSpider are text files that can be opened in any text editor or word processor including Windows Notepad. Set the output file format not to PDB yet set it to mol, tick output below only and convert. Notice that only the beginning of the file is in the mol format. ChemSpider adds extra information to the download. Only information about the oxygen atom was stored in the original file. To add the hydrogen atoms tick the box and click convert. Open Babel has the chemistry programmed into it to know to add two hydrogen atoms and to know the connections between the atoms. This is the X location, the Y location and the Z location for the hydrogen atom. All the values are zero. By default, Open Babel doesn't generate 3D locations for the atoms. Scroll down, tick Generate 3D coordinates, click Convert, and again the rules of chemistry are applied to generate the coordinates. Change the output format to PDB, Protein Data Bank. Make sure Generate 3D coordinates is ticked, and Add Hydrogens, and click Convert. And we see the same 3D locations and the same connections between the atoms, just in a different format. You may have noticed that each time Convert is clicked, the 3D coordinates change slightly. The calculation is complex enough for small variations. To create the PDB file, untick Output Below Only. Click the three dots and go to the folder where you want to save the file. Give the file a name, you have to add PDB, click save, at this point you haven't created the file, you have to click convert. Now we have a PDB file, we can import it into Blender. To start with a completely empty scene, press A twice to select all and X to delete. To import PDB files, go to User Preferences, click the Add-ons button, click Import Export, find Atomic Blender PDB and tick it, save user settings and close. File, Import, PDB. Go to the folder where you saved your water PDB file, select it, and don't click import. 
don't import because I want to change the import settings first. The atoms are represented by spheres. There are three types of sphere. You can convert after importing, but I'm going to change to mesh. If you want to see the sticks, you have to halve the scale of the spheres. Scroll down and halve the sticks radius. Set it to a value of 0.1 so that the sticks are thinner and tick bonds to show double and triple bonds. It's worth saving the settings as a preset. Click the plus. Give the preset a meaningful name. I'm going to call mine mesh half for mesh spheres with half scale. Now we can click import. If we zoom in with the mouse wheel and drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view, we appear to have two oxygen atoms. The PDB add-on uses a technique called dupliverts or duplication vertices to generate the model. Press A twice to make sure all is selected. In the object menu, apply, make duplicates real. We can now select the master oxygen atom from which all the duplicates are made and we can delete it, press X. We can select the master hydrogen atom and delete it. And we can select the cylinder that is duplicated to make the sticks and delete it. It has multiple parts, so you have to keep selecting and deleting. Select one of the atoms, press A twice to select all, click join, go into edit mode, scroll down, click remove doubles, go back into object mode. In the object menu, transform, origin to 3D cursor. In the object menu, transform, geometry to origin. In the view menu, toggle quad view. The molecule is a bit skew with, so I'm going to press R to rotate in the front, top and left views to square it up. Scroll up and set shading to smooth. Click the object data properties and give the model a meaningful name. In the view menu, toggle quad view. And there we have our model of a water molecule. I forgot that I usually apply any rotation or scale. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put all the files used in the tutorial and the finished file for you to download at my website, a link to which you can find in the description below or by clicking the I for info icon in the top right hand corner. You might want to look at my methane tutorial or my DNA tutorials. If you'd like to subscribe, click the link or the stick man. Thanks for watching and goodbye.